A prayer for a peaceful future from those celebrating Easter in Bamako's cathedral. Mali is without a government after its prime minister and cabinet were forced to step down on Thursday, following unprecedented demonstration on the streets of the capital. In March, a militia group that had received backing from Prime Minister Maiga attacked Fulani villagers, killing 167 people. The UN peacekeeping operation in Mali has more than 17,000 soldiers, including French, British and Canadian troops. Despite that, security forces were not deployed until seven hours after the attack ended. This shocked the nation. Among the demonstrators who chanted out with foreign forces and down with the government is law student Binta Jatike and her daughter Aisatu. Of course we are angry, we are frustrated, life is getting worse for us and what happened to the Fulani people, they've been butchered like goats, it has to stop, it hurts us, if there's no change we will keep demonstrating. Change and security is what President Keita promised when he was re-elected for a second term in disputed elections last August. So far his critics say he's failing to deliver. His prime minister, a former intelligence chief, relied on militiamen instead of the Malian army to bring back stability. But what started out in 2012 as an armed rebellion in northern Mali is now turning into ethnic violence edging closer to the capital. Keita is facing mounting political pressure. He's holding emergency talks at the presidential palace. But the challenge for President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita is not only to find a new prime minister that will resurrect Mali's government, but one that will be accepted by the opposition, the ruling party, and the people who are increasingly taking to the streets to get their voices heard. The opposition rejects any possibility for a unity government and is asking Keita to step down. He stole the election from us. Given the circumstances, we should be running the country. We are not going to take part in any government run by somebody who robbed us. It is an uphill battle for Keita and for the Malian people. With the violence spreading, it seems there is no miracle solution. In this search for peace, some Malians pay the ultimate sacrifice, while others pray for their country to rise again. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Bamako.